It's the Will Edwards Show, Las Vegas' only late-night variety talk show. And now, here's your host, Will Edwards. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the, the Will Edwards Show. Uh, many of you may know or you may not know, but uh, the co-host for the Will Edwards Show, John Paul Raniola, is, is not with us for, for this season. So I got with the producers, and, and we all thought that, you know, it would be nice to just show him how much we, we, we love and appreciate his time here on the show. So we just put together a, a little tribute, and uh, some of the crew here are, we're gonna watch it all, all together. So uh, here it is, a, a tribute for our co-host, John Paul Renio. I, I can't do this whole thing by myself. That's why I have a fantastic co-host. I think he's one of the funniest guys here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my good friend, John Paul Renio! <laughs> Speaking of racist, I yes. apologize for being late. Yes. Uh, me and a group of my friends just got out of our club meeting. Uh, <laughs> we're, not, we're a group, we're a clan, if you will. You, know, you see what I'm talking about? You say crime and look at the black guy. <laughs> Apparently, mm. you cannot go up to a group of Girl Scouts and ask them to show you their cookies. Any woman that tells you penis size does not matter, that's the one that you don't marry. <laughs> because if she's gonna start out lying from the get-go, that's like saying, honey, I don't care how big your boobs are, it really doesn't matter. You damn liar. <laughs> she sings it so much that there are times that I wish to I drowned on the boat. <laughs> Shut up! If you need a sick, bald guy to be in it. Oh, absolutely. You know. Sick, bald guy. I yeah. always think of you. Immediately Thank you very when, much. I, when I hear that. <laughs> Have you been pinned down? Hey, I don't like this. <laughs> Gentleman doesn't tell tales. No, I appreciate this. This is awesome. I you like it? Do you love that right now? I was trying to get mine like <laughs> yours, dog. But couldn't yeah. ask for a better. better. <laughs> Mary Goodman is going to be on the show today. Yeah? Yeah, her right. husband uh, helped out a lot of my family many years ago. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's great. He was their lawyer. <laughs> Eat the soup, Angel. Have a bowl of soup. It's made with pumpkins and acorns. And he says, hey, little red, first I'm going to do you against a tree. Then I'm going to do you in the dirt. What kind of story and is wait, this? Wait, little red pulls out the gun and says, no, you're not. You can eat me like the book says. I, I love working here, so I don't want to, you know. Step on your toes, but I had to class up the joint a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is history, right? Frank Sinatra, then it was the picture of this, and then right under it was a picture of Jesus. And there you were. You you were you were you were a groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> Same head and, and and you just get popping up and back down, up and back down. Six more weeks of summer, bitch. <laughs> you know? And there was what? Michael Tusshouse floating on a cloud playing a harp. Your your wind wind. <laughs> Oh, oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> the president has the, the president floor. Got a, the president got a floor. All right, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get uncomfortable in the presence of a black person? No. No. But the Asians. Yeah. All right. Normally not tall enough. That's the one I get That's all the, the time. One, really. Really. <laughs> Or maybe not enough hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> did, you, did you have another... Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching this uh, Will Edwards show since we started two years ago, I believe that is the first time that I've ever been speechless. <laughs> Please do me 
and everybody else on the internet a <laughs> favor. <laughs> and do what everybody else does and just play with yourself. <laughs> you know what, you know what they're into? The kids are into? They're into shrinky dinks. <laughs> I handed her the ring, I'm married. When I proposed to her, I said, hey, it's me or nobody. Lo and behold, the GPS tracker, this humor, humor is right here, this Italian dude, right here. Right, right here. Just don't even worry. Right here. And we have to think. Child. Music. Sky and So the pilots are here. We'll be right back. You didn't. You did. You wanted a Jameson, right? No. Yes, I did. You slick son of a bitch. I think he's trying to get you. If it wasn't illegal, what I do. If it wasn't illegal, the things I do to you. I'm not um, in shape. Showtime. I got no strings to tie the kite. If you piss, you won't go away. Don't forget me. the side of the bar I should have been in two and a half seasons ago. Me and Ivory live together in perfect harmony. Side by side on my piano keyboard. Oh Lord, why? What's going on? Yeah. No, he's not sick. He's not. He's oh not. Oh my god! Oh my god! He just had a baby. Oh my no, god! No, he's not sick. He's not ill. Can you just tell her he's not here for this season? That we can someone get uh, John Paul on the phone so we can have her talk to her. We'll, we'll be right back right after this. Tonight, our, our special guest is celebrity magician, Murray Sawchuk. He's over there at the Tropicana. Also, our musical guest, Trevor and the Joneses. So excited. And recently, we, we've, uh, we, we've connected up with the folks over there at Las Vegas Woman Magazine, and I'm sure you know her and everybody basically knows her, but we invited her on the show and said, hey, listen, will you give us some helpful tips from all the years that you've been publishing the magazine? And she said, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tammy's Helpful Tips. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tammy Grable, owner of Las Vegas Woman Magazine. And if you like name brand items, then boy, do I have a secret place in town for you. Max Pond has luxury name brand items, slightly used or even brand new, for an incredibly inexpensive cost. You can find Coach, Tiffany, Louis Vuitton. Here's one of the items I found there. This is an Italian NOA carbon graphite handbag. This bag retails for over $400 and you can get it at Max Pond for only 90 bucks. Well, you should get something for your wife there. So visit Max Pond and see what you can find. Did he seriously just leave with my bag? about it. Our special guest this evening, you might have seen him on America's Got Talent. He performs 
afternoon, four o'clock at the Tropicana in the Laugh Factory. Ladies and gentlemen, celebrity magician, it's Murray Sacho. Hey, how are you? How are you, man? Thank you for having me on. Well, thank you for being here. I am thrilled. I'm ecstatic. No, come on. So let me just say this, though. Let me say, I have right. to, I, it's almost like I have to, uh, I have to confess this. All right, confess. So I, <laughs> Now I, we're doing Dr. Drew. I love we, it. Go on, though. No, no, go Talk to me. <laughs> so we, I would see you around town. You're, you're, you're everywhere. I'd see you around town at different events, mm -hmm. and someone would come up to me, and they'd go, hey, oh, look, it's, it's Murray. Have you, have you met Murray? And I, and I was like, no, 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 <laughs> no, I'm okay. I, I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. And then you could introduce me, and then I would run. And it wasn't because of anything you did, no, no. but I just, I, I wasn't ready, so That's now I'm ready. That's funny. Well, I'm glad you're ready. I'm honored to be here. I'm very excited. Listen, the show great. is great. Thank you, thanks for coming by the show. I'm glad you got to see it. No, it was a lot of fun. Two years. I know, yeah, we celebrated two years, like two and a half, three weeks ago, and we're thrilled. I mean, I didn't expect the last 10 days. You know, two years in Vegas, as you understand, uh, is like a lifetime to have a show on the Strip. You know, shows open and close daily here, just like in Broadway, you know, uh, if you don't have the funding and the backing. So I'm honored to be here. That's great. It's a great show. You guys got to check it out. If you get an opportunity, get over to Mary's show. But tell us a little bit about your stint on America's Got Talent, man. Yeah, we had a great time with that, you know. You had they some big... Yeah, illusions on that. Yeah, we show. did some big stuff. Uh, you know, with America's Got Talent, the cool thing with that is they'd called me for about five years because I was on the fifth season, and I kept saying no, 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 because you know it's a challenging show. They only give you ninety seconds to kind of show off, and that's not a lot of time. You know, no. if you're an entertainer, that, that's the, that's the time it takes you to introduce yourself to an audience. Right. So you have to change your whole mentality. And so finally, I said yes. I had nothing going on in the January. They wanted to do auditions, and I thought, all right, let's go to L.A. Let's meet these people. And I had ideas to pitch them because I watched the show, and I said, well, these things you have not done on the show yet. Mm. I want to be the first to do them and it's great TV yeah. and so when when you do a show like that you've got to think with your producer's hat not with your magician's hat or singer's hat because if you can give them something they haven't had yet they'll put you on so so we wow. were very lucky and when you have 22 million people watch you it changed your career a bit you know I'm, I'm, I'm sure I mean the, yeah. the train thing was yeah phenomenal yeah yeah it was very cool the biggest illusion they've ever done on the show since and probably the last time because it was a lot of a lot of work and literally we we got the train and when they told me because that was my last uh episode with them uh i came up with the idea i gave him the idea and it was lefty my guest acted on my show it was his idea and he says why don't you vanish train you know it's your it's your father's career and i said oh great idea and i didn't really put much thought to it so when they called I'm like oh yeah i'll make a train just be oh i love the idea let's see if we can get it approved and you're like okay and like what did I just say? Like a train just like, what the hell? I've never done that. What am I talking? Sure enough, they call me back literally two hours later going, hey, we approved the budget. Great, we're okay with the train trick. When can you have it here? I'm like, I don't even know where to get a train. <laughs> so literally the next six days, I was running nonstop trying to find a train. When I can, it's not easy to find, just so you know, if you're looking for a train, not that easy to find. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so I went to Boulder City. I walked around some of the parks. They have a lot of uh, areas out there that are just kind of desolate with old kind of things from Vegas and days gone past. Found a train there. We worked it out, got it on set, and then I didn't know how to do it. So we were in the parking lot literally for four days from like oh nine in the morning to ten at night. Gosh. Yeah, practicing with the train. But we, you know, and when that cloth came down, uh, and I looked back yeah. and saw it gone. I was just as excited as the audience because I was like, "My God, it worked!" Okay, never again. Let's just that's, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's done. It. We did it. Thank God for that. Yeah. Well, stay with us. I want to talk to you a little bit more about a couple of things that you have coming up. Speaking of television, sure. uh, we'll be right back with uh, Mary Sancho. Good job, man. Yeah, dude, that train thing was amazing. All right, we are back. We are back. With Murray Sawchuk, we, during the break, you mentioned, you, you said uh, something about your, your, your philosophy of saying yes. Yeah, I, you know, most of the things that I have gotten in life, I have just said yes. You know what I mean? And I said, one day I'm going to write a book when I'm like 100 years old, and I want to lecture and sell all my secrets how I got gigs. I wanted to say, you know, one, one thing we were talking about, you know, uh, about a year and a half ago, I did something for the Hallmark Channel, and I was talking to the producer, Woody Fraser, a very big producer, and he invented That's Incredible in the 80s, and oh, yeah, a bunch yeah. of shows, and the Michael Douglas show, and all these famous shows back in the day. So we're sitting there talking, and I'm thinking, going, oh, I got a great idea. I said, well, you want something big? I said, look, why don't we just produce a grizzly bear on the show? I said, I got a great idea. We have an outhouse, open it, nothing in there. I talk about how, you know, nowadays, thank God for modern appliances, because it's a home and family show, it's a right. repair show. And you close the door and we pull a chain and the whole thing falls apart and it's like a 900 pound grizzly. I said, oh my God, I love the idea. Look, write it up, send it to me, and uh, we'll see if we can get it approved. Give me the budget and we'll let you know. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Where am I gonna get a bear from? That was just a random idea. What it was is wrong random. With you? I was Where literally is daydreaming. I'm like, ah, oh, a bear. And then I'm like, oh my God. So I get home and I'm going, where the hell am I gonna find a bear? Like, where do you find a bear? 
So, you know, so, you know, so I was wandering the desert looking for a bear. <laughs> no, I called the people in Hollywood who have who anim animals and I use them for most of my stuff. I get a grizzly bear. I said, yeah, we got one. And he says, well, I got to shoot it in January, February. I said, great. I said, oh, wait a minute. I said, do you realize it's oh. a bear? It's January, February. And I said, yeah, it's January, February. Why? Is it busy? Is it booked? Is it gigging? Is it on tour? What's it doing? It's, well, it's nocturnal. It's, it sleeps. It's not nocturnal. It's, it hibernates. It hibernates, right, yeah. right. So hamster is nocturnal. That's something totally different. Totally different. But no, um, but bears hibernate. And I'm like, can you maybe back that hibernation up a little bit? Like, <laughs> can, like, can you? Back? Yeah, I said, can, can we you maybe? Reschedule yeah, can the we, like, yeah, can we just bear? make them work for a week and then give them a week towards oh, the summer to sleep another week towards June? You know, let them, you know, stay in the cave for another day or two. And uh, so I don't know how well you work. They're docile and they're like, I'm like, I never thought of that. Oh. So anyways, long story short, uh, 10 weeks later, we built this prop, which you turn into a tool shed, because the outhouse idea was just uh, too small for a bear. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we did it on Hallmark, and, and it turned out really good. It was the largest trick on morning TV ever. I love so. it. Yeah, so I there you go. It. Just that say yes. <laughs> just say yes. Yes. My but but be, beware. Like yeah, you yeah, you, got, you, you yeah. definitely have to be aware. <laughs> you are, you are very busy. You, you, you're doing uh, the, the, the Pawn Stars, yeah. which it's going to be called Murray Stars. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, I love doing it. We're on there as a magic expert and historian. I wouldn't call my, I don't know if you call myself a historian. Well, look at me. I mean, it's like I should be a Toys R Us, not a historian. Let's be honest for a second. But uh, you know, I've been doing mag magic all my life, yeah. and I love magic. So they bring me on once every six, eight weeks to shoot something. And nice. now we're shooting a new thing called Gold and Silver TV, which is like a QVC, oh. but it's being produced by the Pawn Stars, and it's kind of like Pawn Star approved items that you can buy. Ah. So I'm hosting that uh, on the weekends, which is going to air on Direct TV. So, nice. so it's good. Lots of stuff going on. Lots you of know? stuff going on. Yeah. Help me thank Murray Sarjek for being on the show. Thank, thank you, you so much. We'll be right back. Thank you, man. this summer and the song they're about to play will be on one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Trevor and the Joneses. <laughs>
I, I was ready to roll. Oh, 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 oh. Well, we are down here at the D in the showroom, y'all, in downtown Las Vegas to find out where is he now? <laughs> and who is he? It's Adam London, y'all. Oh, oh yeah. Miss Pam. Oh, it's so good to see you. It is so good to see Always you. Always a pleasure. How you been? I have been so fantastic. Things are good. People are good. Life is good. Family's good. Oh, I love you it. You look good. Oh, you better. <laughs> I'm right now. I'm walking off. Take it backstage and do something naughty with you. <laughs> oh, Miss Pam. I'm from Utah. This is legal. I could have another wife. Oh, you better watch yourself. Oh, and I love this tie. Thank you very I much. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you. Chicks dig this tie. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you're a chick. Uh, <laughs> Well, we are trying to find out where are you now since you were on okay. the Little Edward Show. So I was on the show last season. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been, uh, I've had a lot of things going on. Uh, we just celebrated our year anniversary here at the D Hotel Ooh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh, and yeah. Things, things are good. Uh, I've signed another contract for another year, so I, I have a job. Well, that's a good thing because you have to take care of me if I'm going to be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Pam. You <laughs> naughty, naughty thing, you. Oh, and then the word on the street is that there were some changes with your show a little uh, we've, bit. We've changed. We've added a couple of new things to the show, a couple of new tricks. So if you get a chance, come on down and see uh, see the new uh, the new tricks the new, in, the, in the show. I would love to do it. Do I get a backstage pass? Yeah, where were you? Uh, speaking of which, uh, during my one-year anniversary, normally you come to these events. You, didn't even, you weren't even uh, there. Ooh, I'm going to tell you. I got a call from P. Diddy. A girl with P. Diddy calls. Miss Pam got to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next time P. Diddy calls, you call P. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time that we have. We want to thank all good old Adam London for coming up. Boy, you are like a car glass of ghetto TV. We'll see you next time right here on Celebrity City Take Care with your girl. Bam, bam. Miss Pam. You better stop playing around. I will stop Adam. playing I'm around. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. You ain't gonna do what you <laughs> say. <laughs>